Okay, we're here at the Radio Academy show at Salford and we're showing safety net for the first time today. Um, here we've got a primary mirror system on the left with uh, carts playing and the log is live and the right hand backup system is not got any carts playing and the log is not open. So the first thing we're going to do is press the synchronize button on safety net and what that will do is open the log to the correct place, load the cart players into the correct place on the audio so that the two cart players are on sync. We could even switch the audio to check that they are in the right place. So there we're playing from the right back to the left again. So now what we can do is we can actually transfer on air control from the left to the right, just push the changeover button, confirm that. We can see that on air control is now switched to the right hand backup playout system. Because the cart players were already in sync, uh, it was already playing the correct piece of audio in the correct place. Now if we want to change back, we can, all we have to do is press the change over button again, confirm it, and we can see switches on air control back to the left hand side. So that's how you would control everything using safety net and keep everything in sync. Okay, so we're still at the radio festival. I want to show you the other scenario in which safety net is useful. Here we have uh, two playout systems. Let's imagine what the left hand one is your primary playout system live on air and your right hand one is a backup playout system either located in the studio or in the racks room. And we have safety net keeping the two in sync. So we can see on the left hand one we're live on air and currently we have the Ashes currently playing. If I go across onto the uh, backup system, Ash is playing in the same place. We can even switch the audio if we need to, to hear that they are pretty much in sync. So the idea would be that your primary playout system is happy on air and your backup system is in sync. So if you need to switch to it, all you need to do is put up the backup system fader. So if the primary system has any type of issue, whether that's network, um, uh, server problem, or somebody drops a can of Coke into the machine, uh, you are ready to switch over, just whack the faders up, and then when you're ready, push the changeover button, confirm it, and we can see that the uh, backup system is now taken on air control, and it was already playing the right audio, so it's fine. Once you've fixed your primary system, uh, it's remaining in sync at the moment. Once you're ready to switch back, just press the changeover button again, confirm it, and uh, everything's transferred back to your primary.